Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Dandeneau and I'll be walking you through the DRM What's New in 11.1.2.4. What's Enhanced? We're going to talk about imports, web client accessibility, the exports, improved architecture, and planning and budgeting template. Import enhancements. Oracle has given us a way to now ignore nodes on the way in by simply providing a file that says, hey, I don't want these nodes. Also on the import, we can set the node types and assign the validations. This is a super time saver as before, we had to write a separate file, like an action script, to run and set all these node types and then go in and assign the validations manually. The next one is formatted memo. The formatted memo property has been around for a long time. It's been ignored, kind of shoved off to the side, but it is there. You can manage your S-base formulas and push them directly into EPMA from DRM. But the problem always has been is getting those formulas out of sometimes S-base and then into DRM. Well, now we have that way. Simply add the formatted memo to the file and upload. The next enhancement is substitution parameters. We're going to talk a little bit more about this one in exports, but just to give you kind of a gist of what this is, it's just a way to pass in a parameter to switch around a column. But again, we'll get more into that into exports because it just makes a little bit more sense there. Orphan hierarchies. Basically, on an import, you can not only see that something failed, and instead of just failing, now it's going to create you a whole hierarchy in DRM that says, okay, this top node failed and all of its descendants failed too. Because a lot of times, yeah, we get the failure, but we don't really understand the impact of that failure. So again, now you're going to see this is everything that failed and visually have that in DRM. Awesome improvement. Single section import. Take it or leave it. I'm just an old school DRM person. I don't mind building the whole file, but now you can just import a, just a section of the hierarchy into DRM. Skipping the header records in a file. This is very handy for generic systems that are providing files to DRM that sometimes you just can't get rid of that pesky header. There's plenty of ways around that. You could write a script, so on and so on. But now we can simply just add, hey, I want to skip these records. The last two for important enhancements and then we'll move on. The optional section header suffix. To me, I want the header suffix in there because if I look at the file later without DRM around, I want to know what in the world I'm looking at. But you have the option now to leave it out. The reverse lookup. Let's say, for example, you have a system that's providing a file that has the plus sign in it. Well, the property that you really want to populate is the word add. You can set it up in a way to where it will reference this reverse lookup property so you can get that add rather than the symbol. Simple enough, right? Web client accessibility. DRM is now compatible with JAWS. No, not the big shark JAWS, but the screen reader JAWS. This is great. It's a great enhancement. I've had plenty of users with disabilities that this would have saved them so much pain in the past. So super glad this is here. This also allows full keyboard navigation of DRM as well. Export enhancements. Now we're going to talk about that substitution parameter we kind of skipped over before. A lot of us use exports more than imports. That's why I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in exports. We've created an export and then created another export that's a slight deviation where the columns are maybe flipped. Column A, then column B, but we want in the second export for B to be where A is. So now we can pass those substitution parameters in so we can have that one export basically to do two, three, four, fifty different things. Hierarchy groups. Anytime we add a hierarchy to DRM, we always have to go add it into all the exports that it needs to be included in. 
Now, when you add a hierarchy group to DRM and you add a hierarchy to that hierarchy group, if you've assigned that hierarchy group to the export, you can now automatically add that hierarchy in. Great time saver, great addition onto DRM because I don't know how many times we've gotten to the end and, oop, well, forgot a hierarchy because, well, it's new and no one thought about adding it in. Dynamic columns. So this one kind of goes right along with substitution parameters. The dynamic columns is doing exactly kind of what I was saying before, where you're passing in the substitution parameter to kind of flip-flopped columns. Kudos, Oracle. Thanks for adding this in. Improved architecture. What does this mean? Well, it means that the architecture is optimized for a single machine for multiple processor deployments on a 64-bit, we can kind of handle requests in DRM more efficiently, where it used to kind of pick and choose which engine that it uses. Now we're a little bit more consolidated. Budgeting and planning templates. So here Oracle has put together a template for you budgeting and planning types to just upload into DRM. It'll come with exports, it'll come with properties needed, it'll Come with a few other handy dandy little knickknacks that uh, will get your budgeting and planning kind of off the ground right from when you installed DRM or if you already have it. Great addition on to what you have.